What's up everyone, this is Sly for King here, and today you join me for another one of my Gary's Mods videos. Now today you join me in a uh, in a different type of map. Actually, and um, this is probably one of my uh, this is probably one of the best looking maps I've seen in a while, and it is of course a forest map. But that's not the reason why here why we're here. Um, in truth, actually, this is actually the second time I've recorded this video because the um, the mic audio was very uh, wasn't very good, so I decided to scrap that and start again. But uh, because I'm doing that, it should mean you get a better quality video this time. Uh, because now, basically, now I'm going to explain what we're doing before we start. So basically, over here, as you can see, we have some combine troops. Uh, they're all metro soldiers, but uh, there's quite a few of them, so hopefully that should make up the difference. Uh, it's not the biggest of mats, but it will be big enough for what we have planned. Because today, we're going to be testing out something I, f I found uh, definitely quite interesting. And that is the NPC Reinforcements Pack. Now this gives you three, this gives you three options. You have the Drop Pod uh, default, then you have Drop Pod Custom, and then you have the Live Pod. But we're going to go over each of them one by one. So first off, we have the Drop Pod. So basically what this does is, as it suggests, incoming at some point. So basically, as it suggests, it basically just gives you uh, just gives you some reinforcements. So, uh, so yeah. And I guess that will be the screenshot of the video, sorry. I forgot, I forgot if you press F12 in Gary's Mod, that actually says a screenshot. Oh well, whoopsie daisy, never mind. So anyway, yes, yeah, so basically, yeah, it, could, it just basically gives you a NPC. Uh, however, this one is the default version, but there is a custom one. Now, if you want to change the settings for the, for the reinforcements, you just basically go into Options, Reinforcements, and then Settings. Uh, then you do, then you can change like the settings, like time to arrival, so like let's say it to 5, uh, dB lifetime. You can also set what's in the, what's in the, uh, so you can also set what's in the pod. However, I, I tested this out after my last failed recording. Um, in fact, let me just show you. If you spawn, uh, let's say you spawn a revenant. Ignore players. So, let me show you what happens. So yeah, basically, if you spawn an enemy, it will try to kill you. Just as a warning. So, but basically, uh... I also tested out some of the weapons. Um, there is limitations, I admit. In fact, let me show you. So let's go with a... I know exactly what we're going to go with. Let's go with a Scout's Blue Weapon uh, Lightsaber. And let me show you what happens if you do that. So five seconds till it comes in. So basically, uh, what happens is the scouts will still have his shotgun. Certain characters will automatically have their default weapons, but you need um, you'll need probably one of the standard uh, troops. However, I did test the lightsaber; uh, they didn't seem to work, but uh, other weapons do work. So let's spawn in. So let's go nearby, and let's uh, let's get things started. Or as the scout would say, let's get him. Right, let's. <laughs> now, one more, you can only spawn one custom at a time. So let's throw this over the over the bank. And let's get another scout.
Okay, that didn't quite work. Okay, let's try that again. Let's try one this time. See if that works. There we go. So yeah, now it's just an army of scouts. Just laying waste to everything in its path. Oh, one scout's dead. What happened to the other one? There he is. Wait, that scout's got a guitar. Right, well that scout uh, is dead. But well, there is one final trick that we've got left up our sleeve. Because you've seen the individual ones, you've seen the custom ones. But now we have a life pod. Now this, uh, this is about to get interesting. So, we basically put the life pod down, and... So, basically, this spawns, uh, this spawns a bunch of, uh, as you can see. Let me just put on dry land to get a better sense of what it's like. I think here will be a nice plot. A nice plot to do this. Oh, there's the other scout just randomly there. So yeah, as you can see, it's a big ship, and it just basically spawns in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It spawns in eight rebels. So, uh, so yeah, overall, I would say um, if you need reinforcements, this is definitely this is definitely not a bad uh, definitely not a bad mod kits to have. Sorry, Scout, you're dismissed. It's, it's quite funny, actually, when they do that. Oh, uh, so yeah, uh, just also, just to give you a heads up, uh, just to show you what I was on about earlier. Uh, so let's go with custom default again. Let's go with a standard rebel at the top. Uh, let's put in lightsaber. I'm just uh, showing this as an example. Just to show you what I'm on about. Oh, we're only even going to get killed. Nope. So yeah, let me just show you. So, uh, NPCs, let's go man. Oh, what do you know? Actually, it does work now. Last time I did this, it didn't work. Oh, you beat me to the kill. Okay, so... Oh, to show that I'm still Trevor Phillips. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Basically, the reason the Trevor Phillips is because I filmed another video and the mic was rubbish on that as well. So, okay, it looks like it looks like since the last time I filmed this, um, it looks like they can use the lightsabers, but um, it's quite limited. But I don't think they can use force power. So anyway, uh, there was another one of my Gary's Mods videos. Um, if you enjoyed this video, then please make sure to like this video and also subscribe to my channel to know when my newest content is coming out. And uh, make sure you uh, make sure you um, be be yeah, getting all my words wrong. Make sure you check out my other Gary's Mod videos as well, including my Gary's Mods Challenge uh, series, which the new episode will be going up on Monday. I hope you've enjoyed, and for now, this is Slifer King and all of the NPCs signing out.